Now, five states have already taken action, approving the booster for all adults in the last week. New York City also made a similar move as of right now, including here in Kansas and Missouri. Health leaders recommend boosters for people 65 and older or adults who are at high risk for COVID-19, all because of health problems or their job or living conditions. Boosters are also recommended for people who received the single dose Johnson & Johnson vaccine at least two months ago. So should you get the booster if this is approved? KSHB 41 News reporter Leslie Delisboard joins us from the newsroom with more. Kevin, doctors at the University of Kansas Health System say they cannot officially recommend the booster for everyone right now, but assure people if you're fully vaccinated, you still have good protection. And what we have seen is that even eight plus months out from the original vaccine series, you still have very good protection against hospitalization, severe disease and death. Maybe less so if you are in that population 65 and older, uh, but for the, for the general population and in those ages under that, you still have very good protection provided from the vaccines. Doctors also addressed one of the hesitations about the booster, side effects. Some people who had a stronger reaction to the second dose say they're worried the booster will do the same. I got whacked by that second dose of Moderna and I was out for a day and high fever is feeling terrible. Got my booster shot. It was about eight months later, got my booster shot. Nothing. I was felt, felt good. So, you know, I, it, it is really unpredictable. That's what we're seeing in our clinic here. We've given over 100,000 doses of vaccine, well over 100,000 now. And uh, I'm here to tell you that what you had on the second shot of Pfizer Moderna may not be what you're going to have on the booster shot. So I think I'd go full speed ahead. And if you do fall into the high risk Groups, the doctors encourage you to go ahead and plan to get the booster on a Friday or when you can take a couple days off just in case. In the newsroom, Leslie Dellisport, KSHB 41 News.